हाय आज हम करेंगे साइकोलॉजी का चैप्टर वन एच का बहुत ही मजेदार तरीके से दो तीन तरीके से मैं बनाऊंगा वीडियो और आपको कौन सा वाला तरीका पसंद आया मुझे वो बताएंगे तो ये जो वीडियो है आज का ये वीडियो होगा करीबन तीस मिनट का एंड इसमें ना हम एकदम सिस्टमेटिकली वर्ड टू वर्ड जाएंगे ठीक है ना ताकि आपका हर एक वर्ड क्लियर हो जाए ठीक है आप कितने पेजेस हैं देखते हैं पेज नंबर वन से लेके पेज नंबर टेन तक है राइट क्योंकि इलेवेंथ पेज क्वेश्चन आते हैं है ना तो हम करेंगे एक एक पेज बड़े ध्यान से पूरा सिलेबस अच्छे से प्यार से हो जाएगा ठीक है तो पेज वन में उन्होंने ये दिए हुए डिविजन्स की पहला है इंट्रोडक्शन टू साइकोलॉजी इट इज़ अ साइंटिफिक डिसिप्लिन नॉट आर्ट वाला की फीचर्स बता रहे हैं साइंस की साइंस होता क्या भाई फिर हिस्ट्री ऑफ साइकोलॉजी देर टॉकिंग अबाउट की लाइक वॉट इज द हिस्ट्री ऑफ साइकोलॉजी देर देर टॉकिंग अबाउट रिसर्च मेथड्स एक्सपेरिमेंटल सर्वे मेथड ऑब्जर्वेशन मेथड केस स्टडी मेथड इन को रिलेशन मेथड ओके एंड देन दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द चैलेंजेस इन इस्टेब्लिशिंग साइकोलॉजी एज अ साइंस एंड लास्ट पॉइंट इज अबाउट समथिंग अबाउट रैशनलिटी वॉट इज रैशनलिज्म दिस आर वेरी लाइवली टॉपिक्स नो सो द क्वेश्चन आर इज साइकोलॉजी साइंस सब्जेक्ट इज इट अ कॉमन सेंस और इज इज अडियो साइंस साइकोलॉजी सर ओनली माइंड रीडर सो वॉट और ओनली क्रेजी पीपल नीड हेल्प फॉर साइकोलॉजी ओके साइकेट्री साइकोलॉजी सेम अवॉर्ड और काउंसलर्स वॉट डू यू डू कैन यू डिग्री ऑफ साइकोलॉजी बी सफिशेंट फॉर अवर काउंसलिंग सो दीज आर द डेली क्वेश्चन वी आर गोइंग टू वी एनक्वायर एनकाउंटर इन आर लाइफ यू नो सो दे हैव गिवन दिस क्वेश्चन टू इज अट प्रोसेस वेल इंट्रोडक्शन इंट्रोडक्शन दे टॉक वॉट इज साइंस and they say the science has three parts basically physical sciences physics chemistry biology uh, physics chemistry maths and all that uh, uh, biological sciences it is botany zoology physiology anatomy and uh, social sciences social sciences is about psychology sociology economics all stuff related to society and you know all these things so psychology is a part of social sciences right um Okay. Now, uh, is psychology a science? Now, first we should know what is science, and first we should know what is psychology, right? So, the key features of science. What are the key features of science? There are five. Now, Vivek Shukla, my name is, and remember, I am giving you this trick. Pros, P R O S E, is the key feature. P is predictability. R is replication. O is objectivity. S scientific. Cause and systematic exploration. Don't worry, I'll make you remember this. Okay, and E is empirical evidence. Empirical means coming from uh, lab experiments. You know, right? Okay. What is science? Scientia. Scientia is a Latin word. It means knowledge. Okay. So science is the pursuit of knowledge. Right? Fine. Okay. Now don't worry. Uh, how to write the questions? I have made another video. Yeah, I will teach you how to make the uh, answers, how to make the notes, and how to uh, how to write in the exam. Okay, and what will come in the exam from this part? Well, take me from uh, take it from me. This is a compulsory question in the board exams. Okay, now this is the first year of the exam, but I am telling you this will come. Fine. So predictability. Predictability means. that on the basis of your theories can you predict the next step the next uh, part of the phenomenon right replication now when you when you're using a scientific tool you should it should be able to give the same results under same circumstances anywhere else any other time so if there is a test you making a test and you're able to replicate with the same results always no then it is a proper science example i'll give you the example of bad thing which is not predictable that is uh, aptitude tests you know these uh, 500 rupees 1000 is down they charging more also to make it authentic you know see by charging more money uh, you know you cannot make a test authentic so don't fall for this aptitude test and all the stuff you know bhavishya mein batayenge kare batayenge no they are not replicable every day you give the test you give you different results 
so replication is about same results in different time under the same lab conditions or circumstances right o objective don't have your biased opinion prejudice belief you have to objectively specifically you know think about the topic right now next is uh, s s is two things scientific cause relation effect cause causality okay the spelling is very important it is not cas casualty don't take it casually <laughs> causal causal cause ality cause effect is like music causing bp blood pressure does music cause blood pressure increase blood pressure or decrease so here independent variable is uh, music and the dependent variable is blood pressure because blood pressure is dependent on music right so if the researcher wants to uh, check this the researcher also wants to know is music the cause maybe music he finds is a uh, leads to increase of bp but is music the only cause of it is it the real cause or is it just one of the causes or it is just a uh, just a relation you know a boy and a, and a girl in the same class maybe friends maybe colleagues maybe maybe uh, fiance or whatever you know so you have to have the cause relation effect next systematic explanation there is a method sequence has to be followed okay first is identifying the problem then making a hypothesis then collecting data you know and then gen gen generalizing this will come in the next chapter again fine and e, e is empirical evidence evidence based on experiments data collected from experiments so this is uh, so science is based on verifiable evidence which is come from experiments science is experimentation right so this way we have finished uh, two pages right and uh, these were the four prominent parts next uh, we have finished two part rather 1.2 is finished no psychology is a science because it fulfills many condition of science yes it is not a exact science like physics chemistry it is a social science that studies human behavior animal behavior and mental pro mental processes thinking and all those things right it uses objective research methods to examine cause relation excuse me i'm so sorry yeah now psychology is not a pseudo science and can be distinguished you know fine okay from folk wisdom and psychology now the subject matter of psychology here is a main issue our subject matter is human behavior which is very dynamic and complex okay mental processes are not cannot be seen they are abstract therefore the theories of psychology are not universal exact and precise as compared to physics and chemistry you know the rules cannot be specific because the brain is so complex yeah you know that well now a very interesting part of psychology now guys if you do this history of psychology easily you'll be able to do all uh, your psychology very easy first thing um psychology begins as a part of philosophy in 1879 something happens some tests are conducted then they are talking about the different uh, fields of psychology structuralism functionalism psychoanalysis behavioralism humanistic and cognitive okay so these eight points are there and we'll do it in detail now as a branch of uh, philosophy this was uh, given by the old greek people no socrates and all that so they said it is a branch of philosophy but next in 1879 uh, right uh, what happened was uh, william wilhelm wilhelm wundt he is in germany he was psychologist he established the first lab you know and uh, it was at university of leipzig so <clears throat> here he conducted small experiments so this is the official you know the start of psychology okay so now uh, therefore he is the father of psychology okay now uh, structuralism some people say that conscious study of the conscious mind and conscious experiences like sensation perceptions 
is the way to study uh, psychology. So William Wundt and there was his student, Tichner, right? They believed in structuralism. That st structuralism is a, is a concept, is a thought. Don't worry, you will study in detail uh, in the next chapters, okay? Well, functionalism. So, uh, others say, no, functionalism, functionalism is important. So William James was the uh, person and he was the father of, not of psychology, but American psychology. Because, you know, like, he made the first course, study course in the USA, you know, right? So, he emphasized on human consciousness, consciousness. It was same as consciousness, but here they focus on structure. Your dysfunction is right now. Then comes uh, psychoanalysis. Mr. Sigmund Freud, he's a very famous person, and he says that subconscious level is more important, not conscious, but when you're sleeping and dreaming, you know, that subconscious level is called psychoanalysis. His theory was there, he had the theory of psychoanalysis. He can, you can analyze the psycho of a person, the brain of a person. Psycho means brain, right? So, uh, the mind by analyzing the dreams and the thoughts are unconsciously so your unconscious mind is more important next behaviorism some people say that uh, like who was the person watson right they say okay the conscious and unconscious is not important okay uh, they reject it and they say that whatever you can observe the behavior no you, your friends come in your college and you observe their behavior. You can understand the person by the behavior, not conscious or unconscious mind. So this is in contrast with what uh, William James is saying and uh, what Sigmund Freud is saying. Right. Now, we have one more approach that is humanistic. Be human, you know, being human sort of thing. So here, Carl Rogers, he also, uh, he's from America and he says that we have a free will, you know, we have a free will to grow. Everybody wants to grow ahead. Everybody wants to want self, the power of self-determination, you know. So, I'm so sorry. And everybody wants to actualize, realize who they are, you know. So, you give them a chance to grow and everybody will grow. So, you're, you are what you can and not what you wear, right? So, this is very interesting. Next. Cognitivism. Now, in the modern times, psychology is studied by using model tools like MRI, you know, magnetic resonance machines and PET. They are, these are the tools using for uh, used for checking your brain. That brain is a part of biology. Psychology is a part of biology. So, American scientist Aldrich Neiser is considered the founder of cognitivism. Okay. So here they say that uh, the process is like, cog what is cognitive? Okay, cognitive means anything related with your brain. So recognition is the word, no? Recognition, memory, thinking power, problem solving, intelligence, language. These things can be checked by uh, scientific tools. Okay, so the eight points are, first, began as a part of psychology, began as a part of philosophy. Second is a separate discipline in 1879. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth are different theories. First is structuralism, William Wundt and Tichenor. Functionalism is by William James. Psychoanalysis, Sigmund Freud. Behaviorism, John Watson. Humanistic, Carl Rogers. Right? And cognitivism is Ulrich Nicer. And don't worry about my hurting this. I'll make it easy for you. In the next chapters, it will come easy for you. Don't worry at all. Okay? Fine? Now, now we come to research methods. And then we will be going to end doing this. Importance. Uh, yeah, the challenges in psych psychology. Right? Now, let us start with challenges in psychology first. Because this is linked with uh, the key features of science. Now, they say that this objectivity, validity... Predictability, replicability. Remember these words, pros, are are very hard. There are issues related to objectivity, predictability, and replicability. Okay, so like some uh, personality, leadership, these things cannot be conduct uh, judged by science surveys, right? Similarly, it is very hard in psychology to predict human nature. Fine. 
so uh, because uh, human behavior is very difficult to study than studying chemicals and properties you know physics chemistry so it is very hard next objectifying sometimes it is like okay you are conducting experiments on human beings so are, are are you not treating human beings like objects this is a challenge next a major point here is pre paradigmatism pre paradigmatism pre paradigmatism they say that as compared to physics and chemistry psychology is a younger science and thomas kun thomas kun he says that we are uh, psychology is still in the pre paradigmatic not yet uh, matured stage there is not a clear conceptual core okay so this is the major issue with psychology he is saying fine why i made you do this because this is very important part that you understand that features and challenges are compulsory questions in the exams also yeah you have to think of the exam also right you should now uh, that brings us to two more now research methods now i will do the research methods in detail first is experimental method so in experimental method uh, they are, what they do they identify a problem number one then they develop a hypothesis okay what can be the reason for that what can be the reason for uh, uh, okay what is the proper probable theory so uh suppose they see something a phenomenon a natural phenomenon and they identify the problem okay this is the problem maybe this is the reason right then they will uh, to check that reason check their own thinking they will select an experimental method a design and standardize the experimental pro pro procedure okay now uh, next they will conduct the experiment and then you will collect data based on the experiment right you make the take conduct the experiment and you uh, when you conduct the experiment you collect some data as information and then next step is you analyze the data what is the result is this the pattern seen do you see pattern or something like you know corona virus the problem the hypothesis okay it's by the virus and then you analyze the data okay the numbers of corona virus are increasing decreasing right that way and then you draw conclusions okay corona virus is spread through the air and all that right so here see the key terms again there is a problem there is a hypothesis now there are variables independent variable dependent variable right with done later there is also something called intervening uh, variables okay and there is a experimenter and participant to so let me do this because exam point of view also this is very important and they ask you these small little questions experimenter a person who you will be conducting the who conducts the experiment is called experiment okay so a person who conducts the experiment is called an experiment a participant a person on whom the experiment is conducted is called a participant very clear experimenter and participant so you can call the uh, participant sample or whatever in science language you know well so this is very important these two questions are very very common right so i hope this year they will i i'm sure they will be asking these questions now the key terms of experimental method problem problem what is the problem what is the meaning of problem to study the effect of this is the example they have given let us study the effect of music on uh, level of blood pressure right so then they make a hypothesis okay uh, the music will uh, regulate the blood pressure some somebody says and somebody says it will not well so a person a scientist is saying the music will regulate the blood pressure so we will keep that hypothesis we want to make it a law but we will have to check it out so what do we do we put a independent variable independent is not depending on anybody else so it is music right so music is the uh, variable because it is not depending on anything else then you have the dependent variable in the experiment dependent variable is the level of blood pressure so blood pressure is dependent on music right 
so uh, then you have two variables and then you have intervening variables which 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 will affect uh, these are the variables which will affect music and blood pressure relation so age you know younger people love more music maybe older people maybe they don't like they don't uh, listen to more music maybe you know this is a thought process we have to check it out gender women men do women uh, love music more or men love music more that may be an intervening variable okay then all other sounds except other than music so you may be having the car honking you know and the uh, and the building construction and so many sounds you hear the whole day right so are they irresponsible are they uh, intervening are they interfering in this music and blood pressure relationship so in this way you can check there are so many types of intervening variables right so these are the four uh, topics very easy right and then you have experimental experimenter and participant right so we have done this now some important features of experimental methods there are four features given experimental method is the one of the most objective methods of collecting data yes so you are conducting experiment and this is a very objective method you are collecting data also then it enables accurate observations in controlled conditions so the conditions are controlled in the control of the examiner experimenter right <coughs> and the uh, observations are very accurate next experimental mental helps in finding out the cause and effect relationship right between the two variables fine so there are two variables and it helps find the cause and relationship next the findings of the experimental method are verifiable you can verify you can check you know all those things no uh, replicability wala thing yes so you can verify the uh, experiments and the results right fine now there are also certain uh, certain aspects cannot be studied by experiment mental due to ethical and risk involved there are so many parts of the human brain and human behavior which cannot be done. okay now uh, they have given me some questions to study the effect of practice on memory you know practicing studies on memory so what is the independent variable here yes it is practice and what is the dependent memory right obviously because memory depends on practice similarly can you do this study the effect of mental set on problem solving mental set 